Hi everybody and welcome to Eat Better Together. Today we are going to do a simple pizza recipe and this is just using items that are probably available in your pantry or fridge and I hope that you enjoy. So my husband got home and he will be doing a little background music. Um, we just have a few items out. Here's our bowl and the pizza pan that we're going to do this on. We got scissors, a fourth cup measuring cup, and a spoon for stirring. Pepperoni. And then I'm using this. It's a bakery mix, but um, you can also use like Quaker uh, muffin mixes. Um, it's a variety of things that you could use. If you're wanting to make it from scratch, we can um, maybe add a recipe in the comments. Here's a Kirkland Signature Organic No Salt Seasoning. We've got a can of traditional tomato sauce, and then of course cheese. So first off, we are going to add in two and a fourth cup of the bakery mix. All right, so we've measured out our bakery mix, and then I've added in the no salt seasoning. It's about a tablespoon. Then we're gonna put in the traditional pasta sauce. You can add a variety of different things. For this amount, though, it's going to be about half the can in our bowl. Um, what I'm doing though, just so that you know how I came up with this recipe, is I began by substituting the 3 fourths cups cold water for pasta sauce. So this is what we're actually going to be using as a binding agent. And then we're going to add in a cup of our shredded cheese. Alright, so I went ahead and added those ingredients. And what I like to do with the pepperoni is I just grab it out of the bag in a couple of clumps and then use my kitchen scissors and then just um, cut it up into small pieces. The leftover pasta sauce I'm going to go ahead and put on the stove and start heating. And then this is 450 for this particular biscuit mix. Alright, let's go ahead and get this mixed up. Hopefully you can see this in the video, but the mixture is rather dry still, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of cold water. You can also add a little bit of pasta sauce if you are finding this to be the same with yours. Okay, so this is more of what the dough should look like. It's got to be rather moist. And last time I did this recipe, I went ahead and used a cookie scoop to put it on the pan. This time I'm going to try making it into sticks instead for easier dipping into the pasta sauce. Well, they are ready to go into the oven. It is preheated at 450. And again, this is not a greased pan. Um, if you're using something else, like a biscuit mix that calls for grease, then I would probably add it, but for this one, it did not. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more pasta sauce because um, it's delicious. Alrighty, so we had them in for about 13, 14 minutes. Let's see. Oh, wow, these look great. So a little bigger than I was expecting for the sticks, but that's still okay. Might try it a little bit thinner next time, but those are looking good. And then I added a little more pasta sauce, and voila, dinner served. Thanks everybody for watching this video of Eat Better Together. I hope that you learned something new. If you enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.